Well, the application and popularity of robotic surgery increases annually, and there are many advantages. Pancreatic surgery is one of the most challenging and complex types of surgeries, and while minimally invasive surgeries have become the standard of care for many surgeries, the majority of pancreatic surgery is performed in an open fashion. Dr. Mira Asifi of Spectrum Health Cancer Center specializes in robotic surgery and the minimally invasive treatment of malignant stomach pancreas and liver disease. Thank you so much for being here Thanks with us today. Me. So about those robots, why is the use of robotic surgery for pancreatic cancer really so popular? Well, there's been a lot of barriers uh, in the past with robotic surgery and laparoscopic surgery um, with treating these diseases because they're complex operations and most people feel that they have more control when they're having, when they're doing it with an open technique. Uh, laparoscopic surgery was first described for pancreatic cancer about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but it hasn't really been widely uh, accepted because it's very challenging. So most people think that robotics will be this, you know, same type of platform and won't be, be used. Also, uh, robotic surgery has been primarily used for uh, gynecologic procedures and urologic procedures mm -hmm. with a modest, uh, you know, improvement in outcomes. And there's a very high cost associated with using the robot. So there's been multiple barriers uh, into accepting this technology. Sure. So what are some of the advantages of, of doing surgeries this way? Well, when you compare robotics with with uh, open surgery, you have smaller incisions, you have less blood loss, you have much better visualization because it's all 3D visualization, um, and uh, you have less post-operative pain. Studies have shown less post-operative pain and as a result, a decreased length of stay in the hospital. These same studies have shown, though, that the robotic approach to pancreatic surgery uh, has the same complication rate and mortality rate, so it's a safe uh, a safe way to do these surgeries. Okay. Um, over the laparoscopic technique, though, robotic surgery is really an extension of the surgeon's hands. Um, there's a lot more dexterity uh, that comes with using robotic application as opposed to a straight stick laparoscopic mm -hmm. surgical approach. Sure. And uh, so it's much, you know, again, more dexterity, 3D visualization. Um, it ends up being actually better, uh, a, a better used technique than even open surgery in some cases. Wow. Are there other treatment options for pancreatic cancer? There are. Um, and so most of the time when we treat pancreatic cancer, we actually uh, don't use one uh, approach. It's a multimodality treatment. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a you know, team of experts that you know, we all kind of meet and determine you know, what the approach will be. Um, it includes surgery, includes chemotherapy, it includes radiation treatment as well. Um, but how we you know, kind of time these approaches depends on several factors, namely the patient's age, their health, health, the location of the tumor, and if the tumor has spread to any other organs outside of the pancreas or the liver. Okay. Well, I know we are so blessed to have all the different options here at Spectrum Health, but tell yes. us about the, U, the UGI cancer division, if you wouldn't mind. Well, we have a multidisciplinary uh, cancer division um, that and we discuss. We meet once a week with radiation oncology, surgeons, gastroenterologists, medical oncology, uh, interventional radiology to basically tailor a treatment approach for each patient, and we deal with, uh, you know, every upper GI cancer, so pancreas, liver, biliary tract, esophagus, stomach, mm -hmm. um, et cetera. Um, there's multiple people involved in our team, um, and uh, we also uh, have multiple clinical trials, targeted um, treatments, and stereotactic radiosurgery. Wow, and people always want to know about the survival rate, especially yeah. when you hear pancreatic cancer, that, that's so serious, so. It is, and that's true. The uh, all of the new advances, whether it be in the surgical practice, radiation, or chemo, hasn't shown to necessarily improve the overall survival rate from this uh, disease, mm -hmm. but it has reduced the recurrence rate and improved the progression-free survival. Um, and that's even compared to chemotherapy regimens that we had five or six years ago. So there's sure. made, you know, been significant improvement in a very short amount of time. Yeah, because there's so many treatment options available now, which is great. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for giving us Thanks some insight. Thanks for having in. me here. Absolutely. And just a reminder, if you've been diagnosed with cancer and would really like that second opinion or consultation, you can call 1-855-SH-CANCER.